hello students today topic is a need for classification this is your fourth sub topic in unit number one that is diversity of a living world right let's see what is need for classification in the world there are millions of living organisms are there right to know about those organisms that is impossible task so we have to classify those organisms into different groups based on their characteristics right example imagine there is a place in that place there are 10 millions of organisms are there either it is a plant or animal or microorganisms there are 10 millions are there in that particular area to know about those organisms first we have to classify those organisms into different groups based on their characteristics. For example, we can divide those organisms like plants. How many plants are there in out of uh, 10 million organisms? Imagine there are 2.5 million plants are there. Imagine there are uh, some 5 million of animals are there. Remaining organisms are 2.5 million are microorganisms. Here what we have did in this particular area there are 10 millions of organisms are there those 10 millions of organisms are divided into three groups based on their characteristics either it is external character or internal character okay that is need for classification right we have millions of animals so we have to classify those organisms into groups based on their characteristics either it is external or internal right that process of dividing the organisms is known as classification right classification now we are giving such a name to the particular organisms group for example this group is known as animals this group is known as plants and this group is known as microorganisms right in that microorganisms or in that or animals in that plant group we have millions of types so we have to name those particular organisms as taxa okay that's a scientific term the scientific term called taxa it is a name of a special characteristics animals right this process which means naming the organism as a taxa that process is called taxonomy okay taxonomy this taxonomy includes identification of animals and nomenclature of animals and classification of animals which means in the taxonomy we can identify the animal okay identify the animal and we can name that animal which are identified okay nomenclature nomenclature and classification first we have to identify the organism based on its characteristic we have to give some name to that identified organism that is nomenclature after naming that we have to place those organisms in a particular group that is classification right based on their characteristics right this is the need of classification right now let's say what are the importance of zoos okay what are the importance of a zoos and museums okay what are the importance of zoos and museums in classification zoos are nothing but in those places endangered species of organisms or critically damaged organisms are taken out from their natural habitat and keep there in a protected environment that place is known as zoos right in the juice we can observe the behavior of that particular organism and habitats of those particular organisms and what are the functions external features or internal functions of those particular organisms right this is the importance of zoos in classification right let's say museums okay in museums the organisms are preserved in a specimens okay imagine imagine this is the specimen in this specimen dead organisms are preserved in this specimen right to prevent the decomposition of that particular dead body 
we have to pour some liquid that is formaldehyde okay formaldehyde formaldehyde this formaldehyde prevent the dead body from decomposition right with this specimens we can study that what are the external features of that particular organism what is what are the habitats of those organisms and what are the characteristics of those organisms okay, this is the need for classification right hello students today topic is biological classification this is your fifth subtopic in unit number one that is diversity of living world right let's say what is biological classification biological classification means in the living world there is more diversity is there due to their characters or habit or habitats okay now let's say on the earth there are 1.25 million living organism species or animal species are there okay 1.25 million animal species are there right so we have to classify those 1.25 a million living animal species into a groups okay that is called biological classification okay this biological classification is necessary to divide those animals into different groups okay why because they show some variations in habits habitats and structural characteristics and functional characteristics right so we need a biological classification right in 19th and 20th century 19th and 20th century the basic classification is came to an existence right that classification was introduced by carolus linnaeus okay carolus linnaeus he was introduced the classification method they are in two forms one is numerical classification second one is phylogenic classification Carolus Linnaeus was also known as father of taxonomy father of taxonomy and he was also known as father of modern systematics okay modern systematics next according to his classification methods cladistic classification this cladistic classification is also known as phylogenic phylogenic classification or cladistic classification okay phylogenic classification is also known as cladistic classification which means this phylogenic classification divides the animals into several groups based on their similar characters and similar functions right this phylogenic classification was done by based on the how the animals are sharing the ancestors characteristics okay in phylogenic classification carolus linnaeus taken only analogous characteristics and homologous characteristics right in analogous organs the organs structure is similar but the function is different in homologous organs the function is different but the structure is similar right based on this organisms are divided into groups this is biological classification right for the first time this biological classification or a uh, cladistic classification or phylogenic classification is represented as a tree diagram okay tree diagram for example for um, grandmother grandfather and from the grandmother and grandfather are parents from the parent we can get children right which means it is in the form of a tree okay this pattern of our representation was introduced in phylogenic or cladistic classification by Ernest Haeckel okay Ernest Haeckel right thank you